Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and this is Module 8, any 255 and we are now modeling the Plinko machine. So we're going to be modeling a Plinko and a bowling alley uh, scene. Uh, there's not much to the Plinko machine, as you can see. Um, I'm not going to ask you to texture them. If you are interested in getting extra credit, you may uh, texture the bowling alley completely. Uh, create a complete scene and you can get uh, 10 extra points okay so that'll be at the end so if you're interested in um, texturing the entire that means wood textures on I mean making it look realistic um, as a bowling alley then um, I would be happy to give you guys 10 extra credit points for those of you that would like to um, add the textures um, alright so Basically, um, you won't have to have that turned in until you know you'll you'll be on spring break. Of course, I'm not going to be asking you to turn anything in on Sunday, but the next week it's due, and you're allowed to work on it over spring break if you'd like to. So those of you who'd like to get that 10 extra credit points, that may help. And I want it to be photorealistic, and I'm going to have a small scene that I want you to actually model and texture. Um, you'll be like inside of a bowling alley, like a house. So you can use what you have uh, for the bowling alley and just texture it and then add four walls and some other things that you need like the where the ball comes out of, texture that and you can get 10 uh, extra points. So um, anyway, so that's that. So let's go ahead and work with the Plinko machine. So I gave you guys some references here. So um, I'm this is just roughly looking at this and this modeling it really quickly I did something a little bit different but it works all the same okay don't have any numbers down here that would be great if we did um, but we don't and it's no big deal um, the idea is just you know how do you get this to work and it's actually super simple once you get everything built but um, all it is is cubes now do not what I want to recommend to you guys is that sometimes when you extrude things, you could extrude this and make this, perf you know, make the whole thing by just extruding. But Maya has a hard time seeing that as a collision object. So what I tell students is that you'll have to create it like it's it's built. So each piece is separate, and you know you'd have you know basically have to put it together that way. So these are just cubes. And you can see my perspective view that it's just a cube, a box. I started with a box. Now, the scaling, that's really important. I'm in centimeters, so make sure you're in centimeters. So go ahead and in preferences, make sure that's all set up. Um, so where am I at with this as far as width goes? So I think I'm at, I think I wrote, down, wrote, it, wrote, wrote it down as 8. Okay, Each square, each unit in my, I just counted as 1 foot. So I've got 8 feet by four f 14 feet tall. Or you can call it basically 8 units by 14 units. So um, this is pretty big. I mean, that's probably maybe 7 or 8 feet tall and maybe 4 four or 5 feet wide. I don't know. But just guesstimating because I can see what's in the background here. Okay, so any anyway, so that's basically easy construction. So I start off with a some cubes. I think I started with the back, and then I just added the sides and the bottom. Very simplistic, and then I just created the cubes here. Okay, and then I've got these bumpers. Okay, so they're a little more extreme than what the reference is. Okay but they work okay and then um, we've got the pegs okay so I've got the pegs All right, each one of those okay now the reason why I set it up with this grid I set it up with the grid so it's make, it makes my life a lot easier so I, that's the reason why I did this is that I could duplicate and then click on grid snap so you click on one get it centered on this one and duplicate it over and then you can take this row, duplicate it down, and then start this row, and then duplicate that down, and that you know you can just continue duplicating those rows down 
until you get to the bottom. And then the bumpers kind of break things up. So if you start here, it's going to hit the bumper, hit this one, then go maybe hit over here. Maybe it will hit this way. You know, the idea is just to it's rigid body dynamics um, and make sure that I'm going to hit the W key. Just kind of move this around that your puck. You'll have a cylinder, squashed cylinder. It looks like a puck. And make sure that it can get through every area here. Okay, just double check. This is pretty tight right here. You can see that. That's pretty close. But it will work. Okay. All right. So you just got to make sure that if you do uh, do a plinko machine, make sure that it will not get stuck just by moving this around, making sure that it won't get stuck. Okay. All right. So if, I, if you do the simulation to get stuck and you send it to me, you might get some points taken off. Okay, it's you got to be able to get through all your areas here. Okay, all right, just double check everything and make sure you know you got it going on. And then the puck needs to be pretty thin. Okay, all right. So that's basically it. Um, and then we'll talk about how to do the um, simulation in the next video. Um, so I'll see you in the next video and, and we'll talk about um, and it's fairly straightforward from that point from that point on so uh, this that'll be a very short video so you'll, you'll spend a lot more time modeling than your um, the actual simulation it'll it'll go pretty quickly um, I'm only asking for Lambert materials and I'm asking for Lambert materials that you can see everything. So I've got a blue um, and then I've got the puck is red. As long as I can see there, you know, it's contra there's enough contrast where I can see and you can color anything you want but just make sure that the contrast is there. Okay. And if you leave it gray you'll lose like four points. So we want to add at least a Lambert material. Okay. All right, great. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.